The Yoga Garden was the first yoga studio on the main line. We've been here for over 15 years, right in the heart of downtown Narberth. And much of what we started with is still part of the studio, but we've gone so far beyond that. We've taken it from just yoga to Pilates, kettlebells, there's a massage offering through our garden spa, there are kids classes, Tai Chi, etc, etc. So there's really something for everyone here. Yoga means union. In all of our classes here at the Yoga Garden, we work with you to make those connections between the physical self and the spiritual self. And that is something that flows through all of our classes and that you can take with you anywhere you go. Wellness isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Different people have different abilities, different backgrounds, and different goals. Our beginners classes help students grow from the ground up, learning proper technique, proper alignment, so they can feel comfortable stepping into our open classes. We've got over 50 classes a week. Most of those classes are broken down into levels one, two, or three. So as you decide on what classes you would like to take, it's very clear, very easy, which ones would be right for you. Our teachers are skilled and caring. They've got years of experience working with students of all levels and creating a supportive, non-competitive environment. And that's so important to what we do here. I started doing yoga 10 years ago, and I came to it for the physicality of it, and I ended up getting a whole lot more out of it. So the class that I teach is Flow One, and it is a class that instead of traditional Hatha yoga where you stop and stay in poses or you step from pose to pose, there's this flowing element that moves from one pose to the other. Um, so that it's almost a dance. I like teaching at the yoga garden because the teachers, the clients um, make this place what it is. They're a very special group and also the space itself is beautiful. We have a lot of open windows and a lot of natural light coming into the room. And ready, go. Kettlebells are a, a, it's a tremendous tool to build functional strength. I used to go to the gym, isolate muscles, and the kettlebell teaches you how to use your body as one unit to keep it connected, just like in yoga or Pilates. Kettlebells is a great, it, it fits in perfectly with that concept. Anybody would benefit from kettlebells um, from age five till you, as far as you can go. It teaches loaded mobility. You learn the movement patterns, then you have the weight, and it shows you, it, it teaches you how to move. And my flexibility, my mobility, my stability is, from when I started till now, is it's just a whole different stratosphere. I was introduced to yoga by my mother when I was, um, I believe, 18 years old. She took my sister and I to um, Kripalu and uh, we were very um, adamantly against it because it was our spring break from college and we thought it wouldn't be any fun um, and subsequently we fell in love. The well, class I am teaching today is a uh, mom and baby yoga class. I'm teaching it so that moms can find a way to not only reconnect with their bodies but also find a connection between their breath and their babies. Every day that I teach this class is a different setup. Um, I really try to go with the flow as much as I can. I come here uh, to relax and uh, to get a little stretching. I'm, I'm a new parent, so I started coming here when I was pregnant, and it was a way to meet other moms and uh, to just sort of relax and stretch. After a night of being up all night with a little one, it's, it's just a chance to take a breath and, and focus on that. The class that we're in right now is an Ashtanga-led primary series. That means that we have a pre-prescribed set of movements that will take us through an hour and a half, and the students here 
practice regularly so they understand how the movements link together and how they can begin to smooth their practice out. When I prepare a class plan for a given group of students, I'm taking things into account such as what is the level of experience of these students, what are their expectations and their goals. You start where you are. That's really the essence of what we've got and how we teach. From the first time I came here, I was like, ah, this, this is what I've been looking for. And I've, I've tried other yoga studios in the area and where I was like, well, that wasn't quite the right fit. So um, I really like the yoga garden. <laughs>